Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to put um, an SSD drive into an iMac and keep your hard drive also. Um, it requires uh, hollowing out your optical drive case and putting your SSD inside there. Um, it also requires uh, purchasing this StarTech controller and it, using it to uh, control your hard drive. So as you can see, um, with the Dremel and a drill, I was able to nicely fit this SSD drive in a, a hollowed out optical drive case. <clears throat> so the next challenge was, um, if you look, we've only got one SATA connector on our motherboard, and that's over here in the middle of the screen and we have an optical drive but that connector is actually a PETA IDE connector so we couldn't reuse that so the answer came in removing the airport adapter and there's a uh, PCI Express and what I did is I purchased a controller, a SATA controller, and after removing the airport card, I put the controller in there. So I used the StarTech, there's the part number, and initially when I um, hooked it up, <clears throat> it didn't show up uh, when I turn on the computer so it's a little bit tricky with getting the drivers working but <clears throat> I'm gonna make a little tutorial on how to do that but now it's working and the other tricky part is if you look at the connectors <clears throat> um, they face uh, a direction where if I put the cable in from this side I wouldn't be able to put the screen back on so the big challenge here was to modify a SATA cable. Um, I cut off the end of one SATA cable, and this is this orange cable right here. And I had to take the little um, wires and I had to solder them to the little pin. So if you look at to the right, those pins, I soldered each of the wires to those pins, so that took a lot of time. That's probably the hardest part of this, this whole mod. And so now I've got a SATA, a SATA cable running okay, down. Okay, I want to show you guys how I hooked this up. Um, what you see is that I'm taking the power and splitting it, and that's the original power. And uh, I've got this Y splitter. Um, one of the power um, connectors is going to go to my SSD. The other power connector is going to go to um, my mechanical hard drive. And uh, I used a hot glue gun and it um, came up pretty well. That one I'm going to use for my SSD. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but behind there is my original SATA cable. And I've got an adapter on there, which will allow me to extend uh, that SATA cable. And um, that data connector I'm actually going to be using for the SSD. There is the SATA cable from the controller, and that's going to be used with my mechanical hard drive. Um, I've got another adapter on there once again just to lengthen the SATA cable. That, uh, that adapter just allows me to, um, it's a coupler, it allows me to hook another SATA cable onto it. To make my computer bootable I have to use the motherboard SATA controller 
that comes out up here and that hooks up directly into my SSD and then I use the StarTech to power my mechanical drive. Okay so here's everything put together uh, SSD, mechanical drive, SSD with the data connector that goes to the motherboard controller Here's my StarTech controller with the SATA cable that's going into my mechanical drive. Looking at my SATA cable, I want to point out that I use the hot glue gun to keep all my wires in place. Okay, here's my computer together. There's the SSD, the two terabyte drive below it. I've got a case cover on it also.